Ding Dong YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Jobless Coder, and today is the 18th day of a radically different life following the unfortunate events of the July 3rd fire and arson in Lake Louise that burned the staff residence for the ski resort to the ground, causing 165 of us to be without a home. I was realizing in yesterday's update that I haven't actually shown anything about the situation here in Lake Louise. I've only talked about it and given verbal descriptions. So I thought it would be interesting if today on my lunch break, it is currently noon and I'm taking my lunch break, um, if I actually went and showed you guys what the campground looks like for the um, staff that are staying in the campground. So, just walk over there. So, it's kind of hard to tell, but behind me is the bus loop. There is a parking lot here, just outside the ski resort, where all the buses transport from Moraine Lake and where we would get on the staff shuttle to go back to Chucktown. And if I keep walking, just at the top of the hill here, you can see this is the makeshift campground for those staff members that have been housed here. There's about 12 RV units in the campground at the moment, and you can see just to the left, these are the trailer units that are being brought in for us to stay in. So this is the first round of trailers. There will be a second round of trailers next week, and then I don't know any news on a third round, but I assume that at some point by the end of the summer, we'll all be living in one of those. For the individuals who are currently residing in the RV campground, you can see they've got a lot of um, motorhomes here. They are Class C type, I believe, which is the one that has the sleeper above the driver's seat. There's two beds up there. So the one that's directly in front, facing horizontal, that was my manager's trailer before he quit and got the other job and moved out today. And so that was where he was keeping my personal trainer certificate in his trailer. And there's a few tents and picnic tables here. And then a few people have their own personal trailers. So they're sleeping anywhere between three to five people in these RVs and motorhomes. As I understand it, there is a water truck that comes around every other day to fill up the tanks and then they have to ration their water usage. In terms of shower facilities, over at the main building there, I'll walk down the hill here, there are two showers, I believe, set up in the basement of the um, rental shop and I haven't seen them I don't know what they are but they what they look like but they're connected to the main water facility and so they can run continuous water instead of having to ration it so that is the Ten Peaks Lodge the edge of the ski resort there and underneath the deck on that side there are two laundry machines there is uh, washers and dryers two washers and two dryers they're just household machines and so the laundry room at Sunshine Village also uses household machines the individuals who have been staying in hotels in Canmore um, or in Lake Louise have laundry facilities that are coin operated so everyone's situation is a little bit different at the moment um, I don't have to pay for laundry because they're household machines but the people in hotels are paying for laundry anyone here in the RV campground is using those laundry machines that are just sitting outside under the deck to protect them from the weather and then over that way is where the shower facilities are so they have obviously a bunch of people in here setting up these units. I don't know if this is the final resting place for where they're going to be. Um, these windows are obviously the exterior windows of the bedrooms. There's eight units here and seven windows in each, so that's 56 windows. And we were told there was 59 beds. So there's seven windows unaccounted for. I don't know what they are, if it's for a separate room or something that's not a bedroom per se. And then over here we have the RVs. Each of the RVs has a gas generator in it so they can run the generator during the day or evening to charge their devices and phones and whatnot um, and then usually not at night because it's really loud and that's when people are sleeping. So this is where I came 
for my birthday on the 8th. And that trailer with the door open is the trailer that I stayed in uh, for my birthday. So, um, and then I they had an extra room there and I just bought a sleeping bag. Um, I believe, this is my speculation, that the individuals in the RV are going to be priority number two for getting into the trailers here. I think the hotel people are obviously going to be priority one. They'll be the first people moved in. And my speculation is that us in Sunshine Village will be the last people moved. And that is because, and don't quote me on this number, I was told that the RVs are being rented per night $350 per night. That's a lot of money expended on the RVs. So I think they want to get them gone as fast as possible to save on the cost of that. And then, you know, we're being fed and everything at Sunshine Village, but the cost of food is nowhere near the cost that they're spending here on the RVs. So um, everyone is still spread out all over the place and it's a little bit chaotic with the bus situation. Um, obviously they don't want to pay for fuel either to commute us back and forth every day and so that's another cost that they have to mitigate. But I believe that at some point in the future this will be our new home. It looks a little dystopian, the modular units, you know, we will be living in the pod and eating the bugs. That is a reference to Klaus Schwab, if you're not familiar. Um, it is definitely not the beautiful log cabin that we all used to live in last month. Um, and, you know, it's not like we have a particularly great view of the parking lot. You know, the mountains, they're right there. So there's still nice scenery to look at you know, depending on where your window's facing. I mean, my window and my bedroom faced the garbage cans at the back of Chucktown. So it wasn't particularly like I had a, a stunning view out my window anyways while I lived there. So we'll just walk over here and see the laundry machines underneath the building. I'm not sure how many people are staying in the RVs, but I imagine there would be a backlog for the laundry machines given they only have two of them to use. Sitting right here. Is this laundry live streaming? Oh, I'm not live streaming, but I'm making a video for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> laundry cam. So I believe this is where the shower units are installed inside there. It's hard to tell with the reflection glass. Um, tomorrow is my day off for the weekend. Today is my last day of work and then I have the weekend off. Um, and then Tomorrow is also the movie night, so I haven't heard any news on the bus being cancelled. They did say if there wasn't enough interest in it, they would cancel the bus. Um, so as far as I understand, it's still going on. And then I figured I might get some more video around Lake Louise and in the area uh, to keep these videos a little bit more interesting, where it's not just me sitting and talking about what's happening. Um, this is the daycare facility, if you're not familiar with the area. And there's a deck right above here for eating. It was right there on that deck on one of the picnic tables when I found out the news. When I found out the news about the fire. As one of my co-workers came out to eat lunch and she sat down with me. And that was when she asked me if I had seen the video. I said, what video? She says of the fire. I say, what do you mean, what fire? Oh, you haven't heard. Chucktown's on fire. And that was how I found out just on the deck above here. So I think I'll cut the video a little shorter today because it is my lunch break and I still have to go and get food and everything. I did remember my meal ticket today, so I don't have to <laughs> go to HR and get another one. Um, but thank you for watching the video. Uh, make sure to share it with your friends and anyone that's interested in following the situation here in Lake Louise and give the video a like and I'll see you in tomorrow's update. Thank you for watching and bye.